that um, we can continue to prohibit gate. We can still do that, which is what we do now. Um, or, you know, do, you know, I'm always trying to measure, like, it, I guess in the problem solving world, I'm thinking, okay, well, are there conditions under which maintaining that same look and feel would be acceptable? And so the only thing I said to them was, well, would you keep like the exact same rural, you know, pedestrian, like rural pasture gate that's on there now and make sure that it keeps the same look and feel? Um, and they, they said that they had intended to keep it exactly the way it is. Um, so my thought was, again, because the entrance has come to the, they still have to come to the planning board regardless, I would rather that if that's going to be the case, that it's you know coming through the planning board and it's getting reviewed, and that there are standards that require that it looks rural or or that it still looks like it did. Or is that? And I will pay you. Yeah, so it is. It is. So and I'm okay if we, if you're not in favor of it, but I thought. Let me just throw out the fact that this is out there looming. Can it feel? Yeah. Uh, it certainly reopens an old an old issue, and then the only reaction. There's two possible reactions, right? One is, oh, but that's only for rural subdivisions, or well, I see your point. Let's revisit gates. Well, what does this have to do with? Sorry, does this have to do with the sign? Yeah, because right oh, now the, the subdivision sign? wall signs are in the sign ordinance. Oh, oh, oh okay. so before okay. I, before I, you know. Isn't there a difference between a wall, a wall sign and a gate? I guess I always thought they were different, but they're actually. Well, you're right, and I would, and and it, and it probably needs to go in its own section. But currently, it's just in the sign it's section. Okay. So. I'm trying to just move them with going along with what we have. Okay. Um, and because it's a subdivision sign, and it's usually, right, and it, it's all sort of tied together. I looked at a couple, couple of other options, and in other places what they'll do is they'll, they'll say that, you know, wall fences have to have a permit, and it's not necessarily a sign. But for us, we never have it like this. They're almost always putting a name on the front, which makes it a sign, right? It moves it from being just a gate or just being a wall to a wall sign. So this one kind of sits in the middle. And just in general, I wanted to get a feel if it made a difference. And if it does, then say so. If it makes a difference being what? If it was in. Does it make a difference if they're keeping it exactly the way, not exactly, they're keeping it similarly, very similar to what we already have in the village right now? And it's when you just say what we already have in the village. Right. Yeah, remember what you have here is you've got a gravel pan that's, right. that's got a gate next to it because it looks like a driveway, a fenced driveway. Yeah. What you're going to turn that into is a gated community. And, and we should just call it what it is. And, and so the real question then becomes is, is it okay to gate a community of seven homes when we been pretty steadfast, it's not okay to gate a community of 120 homes. Mm -hmm. So I do think we have to either revisit that earlier decision or somehow distinguish that this is a smaller development, therefore it's okay to gate it. But let's not not call it a gate and, and make no, it seem No, no, I, would, I wouldn't propose that. Yeah. I mean, the, the language that I have in mind still calls it a gate, but it puts, I mean, it. it Literally, it's called, a, what I called it is, you know, a pasture or equestrian gate. So, and then it's got, you know, design requirements around it. So it has to be 50% open. It needs to be constructed by wood. It has to have particular standards. And remember, the people who last came to us for a gate, they probably would have built it out of gold if we'd let them. <laughs> because what they wanted to do was stop the traffic. Right. Right? And, and this will accomplish that goal. This will stop incoming traffic. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, my, my insistence, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm troubled by it, obviously, because I think it's too consistent with what we've already done mm -hmm. and opposed. I kind of have a question.
question before we go any further? I just want to go back. So um, what we voted on for the three pond or whatever it's called. Yeah. So what we voted on, because there was no discussion of a gate. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying what we yeah. voted on, there is no gate, right? That's right. Correct. And there's okay. no gate. Right. Right. There is no gate. So why? I'm confused. But now we're talking about there should be a gate. I'm sitting there. Wait a minute. This is publicly, uh, uh, what's the term? The road is popped public right away. But I think we're all kind of coming to the realization that this road will never be public. Right. Yeah, that's so understood. That doesn't that. make it private. It just right. doesn't make it public. Right. right. And at that point, then the question would be, can these people gate their road? The right. answer would be, well, you can only gate a private road. You can't gate a public road. Well, this isn't public. You know, it's not private. Right, right. Okay. Well, there's a gate there already. So first. what if they just built a road under it and didn't move the gate? Well, wait a second, the gate's only 12 feet wide, it needs to be 18. Is that the same gate or the new gate? That's the, what the conversation we're having right yeah, now. Yeah. Right? It's, it's twisted and... It, and it, it starts oh. spiraling and then it starts... Well, been, I think that should have been the conversation that we had earlier, because I mean, I, I was a little now a little confused as... The, Sorry. You know, well, yeah, that's kind of an important thing. And I know when you were asking these questions, you were asking about the road, and I was, you know, you were asking those questions, and you were talking about the. I was like, why? I was wondering why. I, I understand why you're asking that question, but you seem to be hinting that it was it was sort of private. And obviously, if there's a gate on it, well, then it is private, and that's a totally different discussion. So. But it isn't, and that's the hard part. It is. We, well, How is it see, not? when we look. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is. Well, when you look at a subdivision ordinance, right? The subdivision ordinance. I mean, when you look at a subdivision, um, you either have to approve it or not. It's either does it oh, meet the okay, criteria okay. or doesn't. And currently it does because it is platted public. Okay, so the gate thing is not in the subdivision ordinance. It, is, it, 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 no. it isn't shown on this plan. What would have to happen is to build what they're going to build. They have to take the gate down. That would be the proper answer. Now, I don't think they have that in mind. And my guess is no one's going to make it. I mean, technically, we do have an ordinance that prohibits gates. That's what I was saying. I mean, don't we? That, if we have an ordinance yeah. that prohibits gates, then why, how could they be allowed to just keep the gate up? I mean, and so they if can. the town didn't want that. I mean. yeah. But the irony is, we prohibit gates now, and that gate's on that road, right? And nobody has said. But it's not a road. True. It's right. a driveway. Right. 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 And that's why it's okay. Right. Once it becomes a road, then in theory, now it's publicly platted. And usually that means that someday the road's going to be handed over by the community to the state slash town, whoever's supposed to take it, subject to this merry-go-round we've been on for years. This one's a little different, right? This one, I think, let's be honest, everybody's intent from the beginning here is we ain't never handed this road over. And we don't ever want to take it. So once that reality floats to the surface, then they go the next step and put a gate on it and say, now what are you going to do? Right. We wouldn't that have to go before the Board of Adjustments? Because now there's a variation of what our ordinance says. OK. Yeah, so that would go to the Board of Adjustments. And okay. so okay. That, okay. And, all, and all I'm saying is, and I'm not pushing one way or the other, presenting that this is sort of what's on the horizon. My first thought was, okay, well, if we're talking about a rural subdivision and we're talking about maintaining the entrance, is it not better then to at least, while they're amenable um, to it, talk about what what design, if, if you want to go down that road and be proactive, I'm not saying it's mm -hmm. the right thing, to talk about putting in standards that, that indicate what it's going to look like. 